Hey everyone, Keto and Crime here. I wanted to print a or officially state a retraction in two of the facts I gave you in yesterday's Summer Wells case. Um, I did misspeak when I said that Candace Bly's sister Rose, who went missing uh, several years ago in Wisconsin, was found dead in a semi truck parking lot when in fact it was just her vehicle. She is still listed as missing. Also, I said that they were looking, that the TBI was looking for a red uh, Toyota, short, a red maroon or toy, uh, red Toyota coupe, when in fact it was a truck as a person of interest. So I got those two facts wrong. I do apologize for that. I am very, very careful when I research cases. This is not a case that I have been following because honestly, people, there's not a lot there to follow other than this poor child is still missing after nine weeks almost nine weeks so there's not a lot there to follow the people that are digging up to do video after video on it it's really unfounded that's the reason i haven't dove into this case except to do my initial video on it that i did back in july and the update that i did yesterday where i included the updates that summer's three brothers have been removed from the home uh, as of J uh, july and the fact that Hawkins County Sheriff's Department is continuing the search even after nine weeks with the help of the TBI and in some instances the FBI. So that was the update I wanted to get across, but I did feel I needed to re, kind of re-analyze and re-hash the case for people that may not know. So that's why I did it, but I am willing to admit when I get something wrong. I'm very careful with my research, but I'm also, guys, not, guys and girls, not an investigative journalist. I'm a storyteller. I never break cases. I don't deep dive into cases and try to solve it like a lot of other channels and podcasters do. I retell the story and the facts as we know it. That's the reason I will never be the first to give you a story. And I have received an unusual amount of hate comments because I got two small facts wrong. I understand that it was bad that I got two facts wrong, but that is in no way... Uh, an excuse to email me nasty comments or comment nasty things on the video. People make mistakes. I'm not an investigative journalist. I'm a YouTuber. And yes, I got two facts wrong, but I'm also woman enough to admit it. So if you're one of those that are making nasty comments, how would you like it if I came to your place of work and commented when you make a mistake? Things happen. People happen. It's not the end of the world that I got those two small facts wrong, but I am also woman enough to print this retraction. So I hope you, uh, those of you that know that I generally do a very good job with my cases and my research, know that it was a mistake and I do apologize. And for that being said, look out for uh, more true crime and uh, quickie videos coming out this week and this weekend. And until next time, I appreciate you all. Keto and Crime. Out.